Hey guys, welcome to the second introduction to Auto Keras tutorial. In this video, we're gonna go over how would you work with your own custom data. Um, so let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna show you guys what I the data I've prepared. So I've made two CSV files. Um, one is called train and one is called test. Essentially, we're gonna be training it on our on this train.csv file and we're going to test it on the test.csv file they're the same file and let me just talk to you about the data so the data we have we work with here um, is each row represents a customer and we're basically trying to predict whether or not that customer is going to exit the bank within the next six months and so we have a bunch of information on their credit score their gender their age their tenure their balance whatever so all of these columns are gonna be our X, except the column N, which we're gonna try and predict. All right, sounds good. Um, and the test file is the same thing as the train file, except it starts from row 9,000. So these are gonna be customers that the model has never trained on before, so it has never seen, and we're gonna see how it performs on the test data. All right, with that information in mind, let's start our tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is um, open up some line text and let's first save our file. So tutorial two, I'm gonna save it inside tutorial two and make sure don't forget the .py at the end of your file. So you save it as a Python file. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is import AutoCares as AK, all right? Fairly simple, we need to import our library and then we're gonna prepare our classifier. All right, in this case, last episode, we first had to load our data in this case, it's, it's we're just specifying a path name. We don't actually need to load it in. So first of all, you got to specify which type of model you're using. So last time we used the image classifier, this time it's called a structured data classifier. And just like last time, we don't want it. I don't want it for this tutorial to last extremely long. You guys don't need to put anything here, but I'm going to specify that we need a maximum of three trials. All right. Or uh, yeah, three. So diff try three different models. Um, and then you can just call fit. And this time you need two arguments. Um, last time was X and Y. This time we're going to specify the path. So dot slash train dot CSV. Um, and if you guys are not familiar with how paths work, essentially we need to specify where the file is in relationship to the tutorial.py, right? So this training file, it's in the same directory as tutorial2.py and it's in the same directory. So we use the dot slash notation. If it was one behind, you would use dot, dot slash like this. And then you need to specify the title of the column so you would do let's check our column title it is exited all right so it's exited and um that's the column we're trying to predict all right so now that we fit it we can see how it performs so we're going to print out the performance once again you would do classifier.evaluate and same thing you would specify instead of train this time, you want to evaluate it on the test file, as well as the, the second argument would be the Y again, the Y test. And again, it's called exited. So you can write that. And that's pretty much all you need uh, for paths, all right? Um, if you guys wanted to do it, do, do this with NumPy arrays or pandas data frame, then you'd have to import pandas and then do a pandas read the CSV but that you would need some more experience. Um, but uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that as well, I can show you guys in a different tutorial. So let's first run this. Um, it should be fine. Okay. Let's try running this. So let's open up our terminal. Let's go to the directory. CD desktop, uh, AK tutorial, tutorial two, tutorial. All right, and then let's run tutorial two. Oh, and I made a typo. Evaluate. All right, so it's done training and 
Uh, well, I guess we got a 17% accuracy, right? So, yeah, if we were to train it for much longer, I think uh, we would get a much higher score. Since we got, so basically we got 79% accuracy on the training data, but seven. 79% accuracy on training data, but 17.8% accuracy on our testing data. So clearly we need to train more for this data set and I'm sure we would have gotten much better results. I, um, if you guys want to try it and tell me in the comments below how much accuracy you got after training it for an entire day, um, please let me know because I don't have time to train it for an entire day on my computer. All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for the, uh, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.